John Hope's collection was carefully arranged and extremely well organized with cardboard labels provided for visitors to identify the artists represented. Hope employed a curator, Jan Vubbles, described as a not too gifted painter of small seascapes. He was also a major art dealer. The posthumous sale of his pictures in 1792 contained 591 works. Dutch houses did not have galleries as such. Collections were hung throughout the interiors, in rooms and corridors, even in the kitchens. Collections were easily accessible by appointment or publicized visiting hours. And indeed, visitors to Dutch cities expected to be able to view private collections, which were made public through guidebooks and were recorded in inventories. This was not the case in London at that time and must be considered as an important aspect when considering Thomas Hope's approach to his collections at his house in London. John Hope was generous and hospitable, and he acted much in the, in the tradition of Dutch collectors. Very many distinguished visitors from all over Europe would have seen his collection, including Joshua Reynolds, who recorded his visits in Flanders and, and, and Holland in 1781, and which were published in 1797. John Hope's collection was compared to, the, to that of the Stadtholder, Prince Willem V of Orange. His collection was the first to be opened to the public in The Hague in 1774. However, 20 years later, while the Stadtholder fled the invading Napoleonic forces to England at the same time as the Hopes, his collection was seized and sent to Paris. When returned, those works were to become the foundation of the national collection now in the Moritz House in The Hague. 